I never know what to do after a date in LA. People always just drive around, but that's what everyone does all day with the cost of gas. Or you can go to an outdoor mall and walk around. I always feel like I'm in a theme park and I get depressed I'm not in a real city like New York. Well, it's, it's late, so I'll take you home. I don't know what happened in there, but it was just a kiss. I got a little anxious, that's all. And before you say anything, this has nothing to do with me being gay. I'm not, I'm not comfortable with public displays of affection. I wouldn't be if I was straight. Well, that's impossible to know, and I don't believe you anyway. Well, unfortunately, some of us were raised in a more reserved world, Scotty. You're not reserved. You're just tragically tangled up in your own homophobia. Homophobia? Wow, you, you really don't know me. What's not to know? Your mother is a friend to lesbian and gay people everywhere. I know you're out at work. You probably go to benefits with lots of other gay men where you kiss each other on the cheeks, and I'm sure you get lots of phone numbers. But when you get home more nights than not, you're alone. Because the one place you don't feel comfortable and secure is in your own skin. I can read you like a comic book, Kevin Walker, two pages at a time. Can I tell you what your problem is now? Fire away. You're impatient. If you really did understand me, you'd know not to kiss me in the middle of an Indian restaurant while I'm still working on goat curry. All you had to do was wait until we got to the car. You should let people mature on their own terms. And no, you didn't just compare me to a comic book. But I love comic books. Come on, I'll drive you home. Hi. I... I wanted to apologize for last night. What, why didn't you just call? I felt like I should say this in person. I assumed things about you I had no right to. I mean, I'm judging you for air kissing people at benefits I don't even get invited to. Frankly, I couldn't afford them. What I really want to say is, I like you. And I feel completely and totally out of my league. Frankly, I feel like such a loser on it with you. Well, that's a whole other conversation. That's my homework. Scotty, stop talking. You were right about everything. And frankly, I'm relieved you're not as wildly evolved as you seem. It can be very intimidating. We're doing that not look away thing again you like so much. Hi, Mrs. Berryman. Okay, thanks. Kitty, get in here. You know, it's, it, it's kind of stuffy and, and, and pretentious, but um, the drinks are free, and um, it's, it's an excuse to dress up. Sadly, I can't. I am... I'm actually working that event. You're kidding. I wish I were. Well, can, can you get someone to fill in? It's not that, it's... It's kind of a lot of money, Kevin. Oh, okay. Well, how much do you make on a night like that? Two, three hundred max? You know, I, I could reimburse you for lost wages. I'm trying to feel a little insulted. Oh, oh, come on. That's that's not why. You know, it's it's just it's kind of a big deal for me. You know, my whole family will be there, and I would I would like to have you sitting next to me. You know, not serving ahi on toast. Now I'm officially insulted. Oh, stop being so. Stop being so what? You offered to pay me to be your date. It's not even your primary job. What is my day job or my night job? Doesn't matter. I I'm a cater waiter. You were going out with a cater waiter, and unlike you, I actually take it seriously. Thousand dollars. Now that's an entire wing of. I'll talk to you later. Kevin. Scotty's here. He's working. You should talk to him. Yes, I will. Thank you, Mom. Excuse me. Tonight. They look hungry at Camelot. Could we please talk for a second? I'm actually working right now, and you don't want to get caught talking to the help. Okay, you're so mad, I get it. Yeah, well, at the moment, I have to make sure that everyone at Pippin gets their drinks. We'll talk about it later. Okay? Well, can I have one? I'm not your waiter. Get it yourself. I can't believe you told Ma. Oh, Kevin, did you see Scotty's here? Yeah, I know. I know, thank you. 